What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Cloud Slayer channel and back to another ramble. I hope you guys are doing well as well. Had a great weekend. Um, you know, got to go out, see the family and stuff like that. Um, helped, helped some other family, my my better half's side of the family, you know, uh, get get their shed fixed in a way. So wasn't that, wasn't that difficult, but it's always good to have a helping hand, you know, makes the, uh, expedites the process and stuff like that. And it's also good bonding, especially with family members and various things like that. So you get to see people you don't see it on a day-to-day -day basis. So, uh, but you know, I just, I wanted to ramble on about some stuff here today that was, you know, it, it's always pertaining to life and it's always things that I see going on around me and stuff like that. And, you know, you try to address those things. You try to, um, help those along as well without actually telling them what to do or anything like that, because ultimately it's up to them. If they want to make certain changes in their life, they want to get things together. Um, they, they ultimately have to come to that realization. You know what I mean? Um, only they can make those changes. Uh, not you, not anybody else. Um, for a matter of fact that I know it as well because uh, I was once a part of that transition, you know. So it it is what it is. So you, you can either own up to your BS and make changes to, uh, to yourself and how you carry yourself. You know, you don't have to do those things that you dislike in your life. So it, uh, identifying that is part of one of the uh, first stages to making the change to uh to your yourself and how you conduct yourself and how you carry yourself and how others perceive you you know so there's many things that go into that identifying it as one of the first steps so i mean that's great if you're if you're identifying that hey uh, more power to you you know uh, you're making you're starting towards a better you for tomorrow uh, for your family, for whatever reason why you're making that change, you know, maybe it's just because you just don't like being that person in, anymore. Good, because you know, if you don't like it, you don't have to continue to do it. So, uh, I, I, I'm backing you. You know what I mean? And uh, I just want you to know that it's not easy to do. And you know, if anybody's, you know, dissing you for it or anything like that, then maybe you should reconsider. Having those, uh, not having those people around because, you know, what you, if you want just positive vibes, then that's where you're going to have to go down and you don't, you don't have to keep that negative in your life. So if, if those things are continually holding you down, then, Hey, maybe it's best to get rid of them. You know, they can either come along for the change and help you through it, or they can sit in their negativity and get left behind because the world waits for nobody you know what i mean nobody not you not me not even you know not even god you know what i mean so it, it, it continues on no matter what you do in your life and no matter what what you choose to do in life and you know it's at the end of the day it's your choice so with that being said you know move on and create a better you man um it's not going to be easy it's going to be hard and you might not find the support system that you that you um, might necessarily need, I suppose. But if you do have one or two people, that might be more than enough, you know. Uh, that's all you really need. And believing in yourself. So the main, the main key is that you believe in yourself. And that no matter how hard life is getting for you, that you know the change is going to be for, for the better for yourself, you know. Um, don't, don't worry about anything else and you see that that fun, uh, that fun stuff going on that you you might want that you might be kicking off to the side just know that you know even though it looks fun it might not be sometimes the people mask having like they look like they're having fun visually but on the inside it might be eating them up so you never know what's going on and you know just you know you're running away from that not running away from it but you're, you're changing that and you're no longer going down that road, you know. Oh, look at that messy hair. But I should probably cut it again. I'm going to go bald probably. And, you know, whatever. It is what it is. I, I do enjoy it. But, you know, um, it just it's a lot easier to take care of. But <laughs> getting off on the rant. But um, 
it is what it is. It's it's hard, it's it's very hard to continue to go down a, a a better path for yourself mentally and physically and stuff like that. So, and it's not easy uh, whatsoever to change like uh, a day, daily habit or a weekly habit or a weekend habit. You know what I mean? But it's a hundred percent possible. And it's only possible if you if you believe in that and if you continue to do it. And, you know, it's, it's those hard things that are probably better for you. And, you know, it, it's hard for a reason, you know. you got to continue to work for it. And, you know, with that hard work and, you know, the blood, sweat, tears that you're going to pour into it, whether it be working out, it could be riding bikes and stuff, because starting to ride more bikes with my son and, stuff like that and he loves riding his bike so he's getting better at it and he's only three so you know before in september woo man being a father it's fucking awesome but you know it has its challenges and you know i have my doubts at times and uh, everybody does you know nobody's nobody's perfect and nobody's you know walking through it like oh yeah this shit don't bother me but if they are maybe they're lying you know there's challenges for everybody but you know it it is what it is i don't regret having a child and you know stuff like that and i'm not gonna ever run away from it because that's my that boy is my life you know and my family is my life so and my friends i I love those guys too and you know they have their challenges too and i'll continue to support them as much as i can if they ever hit me up uh i'm going to answer and if i can't i'll get back to them uh, whether it's through a message or you know phone call back so some but sometimes you know if i'm not answering it's not because i'm ignoring you it's because you know i'm doing something at the moment i'm i'm a little bit busy or something like that or my phone's not on me because i don't always have my phone on me i'm not sitting on social media and stuff all the time i'm you know i'm trying to sit there and teach my son stuff i'm trying to you know just I'm just playing fucking video games or something, you know? Video games, I'm helping helping somebody out. Um, if they need my help I and they ask, I, I'm always trying to, I'm prioritizing it. You know what I mean? So, and trying to plan, trying to plan some stuff here. Uh, not this coming up weekend, but maybe the weekend after, try to have a cookout with some friends and family. So, uh, you know, reach out to them. But we got to figure out a place first. We're going to, got to figure that stuff out first. So, uh, before... And make mention to those that uh, you know to go there you know so but regardless i had a great time yesterday with my, my parents we had a, a a boil and it was freaking awesome it was nummy and you know it's always it's always fun to get back into the kitchen with with your family to help out uh, no matter how little bit you know and it's it's good to cook new things that you never really had experience cooking you know and it's it's easier than it looks, you know, it can be intimidating for some of you guys that have never cooked in your lifetime, you know, there's, there's people out there that ain't never drove, uh, they'd be in their fifties or sixties or whatever. And there's people that may never have cooked and it's, it's kind of weird to think about, but you know, who knows what their life circumstances were. Maybe, you know, some people consider it uh, microwave and cooking. So, I mean, is what it is however you get your food <laughs> you know what i mean so but you know it's it's easy as easy as diving in and even just watching youtube videos you know there's so much information out there right now to help you get the support that you need to help guide you essentially and you know continue going down that path and continue looking for it when you when you need that help continue going down and looking for it and that's the only way it's, you know, it's going to help you essentially is you keep looking towards it and not put it on the back burner, especially when you think you need that help. If you think you need to make that change, strive for it. You got to work for it. And there's only one way to achieve it, you know, it's for you to go out there and get it. It's like anything else in life, right? Uh, you want to be a better basketball player. You want to be a better football player. You want to be a better skateboarder. You want to be a uh, better gym gymnast, you know, practice, practice, practice. You got to almost become consumed with it for it to make a difference in your life. Because if you don't believe in it, and if you don't want to strive towards it, you're, you just, you just say it and then bam, you forget about it. You don't think about it. And 
you know, you don't continue to go down that path of making that change. It's never going to happen. Never, ever. You got to, you got to be the one that does it. Um, no matter what, because at the end of the day, even if you seek help, you know, they're only going to be there for a little bit to, to guide you through a little bit, but they can't be with you 24-7. It's only one person with you 24-7, and that's going to be you. It's going to be yourself, and, you know, you got to switch up the way you think, and, you know, you got to believe in it, man. Especially, and you got to have it all in your heart, especially if you, you want to make that change. So it's not easy. It's never going to be easy. And, you know, I'm not going to I'm gonna fool you. Even though I'll be there to, you know, help my friends, my family, and stuff like that. I'm not, I can't be there 24 seven. I got my own family. I got my own life, you know, and vice versa, you know, like you ask for help from those people. They're gonna, there's going to be times that they're going to be busy. They can't always put everything down for you, you know, especially if you're not willing to put everything down for yourself and go out there and kind of figure it out. You know what I mean? So I have, I see it all the time, you know, family members or anybody like that they they don't they, they they keep asking for it they keep saying something they keep bringing it up like they're doing something but they're not striving towards it they're not actually doing it they want you to do it for them and you know they they don't see the sad reality in that that they have to do it themselves you know and you know yeah we're gonna help and people love to help people love to see people succeed and get out of that bullshit that bullshit that and all the drug and the drinking and all that stuff you know like especially if it's a problem if it's not a problem you know no but people see that and hopefully they let you know if not if they're the ones also in that rut then you know you might, you're never gonna get told and stuff like that or maybe you know, you, you might not even be listening sometimes when people tell you, and you might be, you might get mad at them, and you might say some shit, you know, but know that they love you, especially if they bring it up, because they love you, and they, they want to see you succeed, and maybe they'll just shut up the rest of the time, because they don't want to lose you, and, you know, not, not that that's bad or anything, maybe they just don't want to see you walk out of their life, you know, so, um, you might have to pull your head out of your butt, and you might have to see things for what they are. You got to see who you are and in order for you to make that change. So you got to not only talk about it, you got to do something about it and stuff like that. So, I mean, start a podcast, you start something, you know, do something that helps you be more productive, that keeps you out of trouble, you know. Maybe it is playing freaking video games all day long, you know. Do it if that makes you happy, but know that you got to pay bills or something you know you can't you might have to work you might have to you know start something you know start a business but you know you, that it's going to take a lot more hard work you got to do you got to do research you got to look into certain things that you got to um, get through the you know government or local authorities or something you know stuff like that um it's not as easy as just like okay i'm a business now you know so you got to look into it. Uh, ask somebody that you know that started one, you know. They'll, I'm sure they'll be more than happy to share that with you, especially if you approach it with respect, you know. So I know I get some that, that goes into this next little bit of rain too. Like I get hit up from people and, you know, they're not very respectful about it, I guess, in a way. And I don't, like I'm, I'm a really nice guy when it comes to that, like, I'll just, I'll bite and I'll, I won't say nothing for a while until they get like really pushing, pushing a button, you know, like they're really like demanding and like I owe them type shit because I don't owe you a goddamn thing. You owe yourself something and you got to strive for that, right? That's essentially what I've been saying this whole time, but I do like to help. So <laughs> it's like, oh, whatever, I'll, I'll, I'll let it go and I'll let them like, you know, but I also, after a while, it's like, hey, man, you got to start doing this. You got to do this for yourself. And these are steps that I took to help myself that you can also take. But that's your choice to take them. You might find different steps that work better for you. Take those steps. So, you know, it's just getting over those fears of 
who, how you perceive yourself, you know. So if you want to record and stuff like that and you're afraid, like, I look dumb. Like, okay, I, I, look, I think I look stupid. I think I sound stupid. But, hey, get over that. And, you know, if you want to do it, you got to keep doing it. That's, that's the only way to do it. And it's the only way to get over it, you know. People say it all the time, sports people, uh, comedians, you know, all that. You got to just keep doing it, man. You got to believe in yourself. Uh, you might you might not be any good at it right now, but hey, man, down the road, uh, another year, another two years, another three years, you know, you might be the greatest. So it's just a matter of striving for that. So uh, I'm going to cut this one here. It's only been 15 minutes. I would love to ramble on a lot more, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, just doing my morning walk and stuff like that. So uh, if you're a returning listener, hey, thank you, thank you for coming back and um, hit that like and subscribe button too for uh, anybody that's new. I do appreciate it. And if you like to want to hear any kind of rambles on specific things, hey man, comment down below. Um, uh, I'll try. I'll address those things the best I can, if I can, and stuff like that. Um, I'm not really too big in politics. I just got what's in my my own head, like my own ideals, my own thoughts. And stuff like that and you know it's not everybody agrees with those things but you know i try to keep them to myself too at the same time but you know it is what it is we all have our own opinions at the end of the day and you know i don't chastise anybody else for thinking that too so but anyways sorry i uh, love you guys and i hope you guys have a great week and you know uh i've been I've been uh, thinking about doing more more rambles throughout the week. So uh, I hope you guys have a great one, though. So if you'd like to see more, hit me up. Let me know and stuff like that. So peace. Love you guys.